Welcome back everyone. So I needed to build a team really fast because I'm literally going to be flying in four hours. So basically what I've done is I've taken two of my favorite wall breakers, Latios and Ursaluna, and put them next to Galarian Sloking. So we're just going to chill into these two and knock out some teams. This guy doesn't have a single Draco Meteor switch in on his team, so we are leading Lottie. Hopefully he leads Torkoal. As he does, usually Torkoal dies to this. Sometimes there's Spadef, but like either way, I can just go for the Draco here and... It's never Terra Fairy. I think these are usually Terra Fire, like Eruption, or... In this case, I'm assuming he's like Heat Rock, and... I guess it could be Steel, I really don't know, but... My assumption is I'm gonna knock this out here, or it lives on 1% and gets up rocks, why? That was not part of the plan. Why does it live on 1? I feel like I got like a really unlucky roll. This still takes 60, dude. Or 71 even, yeah, that's like not a switch in. I'm assuming U-Turn comes out this turn. I want to go Landorus, but I kind of need that for Gouging Fire. So I'm just going to... Do I want to keep Dracoing? I know he's going for U-Turn is the thing. Let's just Draco. Oh, he goes for Pyro Ball. Okay, so we just knock it out right there. Pretty good turn. I'm glad I didn't take the damage on Lando because the Gouging Fire is a big problem. Now, if it is Heat Crash, then I'm pretty sure that Ursaluna can take Heat Crash very easily. Comes out right now. Oh, it's the the choice band one with burning bulwark stuff. Okay. So what I want to do here is sack. <coughs> As he, it is dragon dance. Never mind. What? Okay. Well, do I want to keep this then? It's kind of not useful, but it could be good into Specs Walking Wake if that's what he has. I don't know if Landorus takes this hit like at all is the problem. <laughs> Landorus might just get like destroyed if I switch it in. I kind of like Sloking here into Raging Bolt and Walking Wake. I really like Ursa. How useful is Golden Go? Okay, you know what's the real question? Can I afford him to um, Dragon Dance again? And the answer is no. So, Oh, it's Terra Fairy and he's Morning Sun. Okay. Yeah, that's really bad. Going you. Dragon Dances again, yep. Let's go ahead and taunt it here. Hopefully he just attacks. He does Flare Blitz. Okay, so he's at 52. Flare Blitz under Sun is really scary, I'm going to be honest. But I think we can beat this Mon. Because if I go Sloking, he can't click anything other than Flare Blitz in front of that. So I guess we go for that, right? I mean, I could also Terra here. And I think that's what I'm going to do to beat it. Let's Terra and Sludge Bomb. He's used his Terra. I don't want to use too many resources beating this thing. So this is, in my eyes, the best thing I can do right now. It would make me weak to Raging Bolt, and that is kind of problematic. Ursa Luna might be able to deal with it. I got a Terra Water here. Hopefully he just goes for Flare Blitz. It'll do a lot, but it won't knock me out, I don't think. And then we can Sludge Bomb, knock him out. He will likely get up the Sun again. I'm actually slower than Torkoal. Dang, this game is so different if I just knock out Torkoal turn one. Okay, anyway, yeah, like, what's the role on Torkoal turn one? I'm curious. If it's a normal Torkoal set. Okay, it was Spadef, like I thought it might be. Okay, so it could have been, like, a mid-roll. Who knows what he is, really. You do go Torkoal here, though, right? Wish I was able to get up rocks, but, like, I didn't really have the chance of the Lando. Oh, he goes Raging Bolt now. Okay, I think I just want to sack this. Although, can I beat Walking Wake without it? No, not really. Let's go Golden Go here. As he goes for Life Orb Draco. Okay, that's really good for me. This turn, I should just go for Shadow Ball. Put him in range of Ice Shard if he stays in. Stuff like that. And I've kept my Sloking, so that way I can Thunder Wave the Walking Wake later. And we can beat it down that way. So, he actually does let me hit it, interestingly. Oh, he has... Earthquake, for some reason. Why do you have that, dude? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go Lottie here and Luster Purge, I think. Thunderclap shouldn't put me in range of hazards, so let's, let's calculate this. I'm at 42. I come in at 30. I got to take less than 12 for minus 2 Thunderclap. Can I do that? Raging Bolt. Oh, I totally can, sometimes. It looks like I can come in... Take rocks, take thunderclap, and still have a switch in later. 
Oh, no, I'm doing the math wrong. I can take way more than 12. Okay. Yeah, we can take 18 here and still come in on rocks later. So I should just go for Luster Purge right now. Oh, it's Life Orb. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm out of thrown. <laughs> I forgot about Life Orb. Uh, okay, I still come in later. Okay, cool. Minus 2, plus attack, Life Orb. Yeah, we should be good. This won't put me under 12%, so... Lottie will be good to come in on Walking Wake later, on Great Tusk later, stuff like that. Although these might all be speed boosting just based on the fact that Gouging Fire was, but I would like to think that because Gouging Fire was speed boosting that he's using the others as breakers, so Walking Wake is going to be like choice specs and Lottie can outspeed it hopefully, because I'm 350, reaches a max of 348, which that's literally 109 base speed, right? Walking Wake... Yeah, it is. Okay, so he can't Terra. Like, there's no Luster Purge switch, and whatever happens this turn, unless he crits me with, you know, I'm not even going to say it. Okay, we, we do take it just fine. And we knock out Raging Bolt. Really good. I just Luster Purge this. We'll see whether or not he has a response after this, but it's looking good. I do need this, though, for Great Tusk. So he actually goes Hard Walking Wake, which is booster speed. I cannot sack them on that I have right now. I got to go Sloking here. Because I'll lose to Great Tusk if I do. The correct place put up Future Sight because I need to make sure that I can deal with Great Tusk. So let's do that. I'm assuming he's Choice Specs based on the way he's playing it. Oh, wait, did I get turns wrong? The Future Sight might not do anything now. <laughs> okay, maybe throwing. Who knows? Goes for Hydra Steam. Yeah, the future set's a waste. I think what I have to do... I have to go UNI Shard, obviously. But that thing cannot click Rapid Spin in front of Weavile. But if I miss, then like... GG, I guess. I don't know. If you sack Torkoal, does it help you? Like, kinda? I mean, you're gonna do it, right? But you have three cent... You have three turns left. This is mind games, because... Okay... Let's, let's map this out. If he clicks an attack right here, my next play... Okay, so that's two turns of Sun. My next play is going to be go to, go to Lottie, right? And I knock this out with the Luster Purge. That's one turn of Sun. Walking Wake comes in, and it sweeps with Hydra Steam. Because I can't switch out and come back in because of hazards. So, I guess the question is... Do I want to go to Saluna? He has Temper Flare for some reason. Okay. That's probably fine. Two turns of sun. He has to go for the spin, but he can't spin is the thing. So I facade here. Spin doesn't knock me out, and I should be able to go Lottie after this Luster Purge and just sweep. Well, he just never clicked, but the game was over anyway, as we can see. I just don't get spun on and then Luster Purge with Lottie, and we're good. Okay, we have another game against a Hisui and Avalug team, which is kind of cool. What I want to do is spam Luster Purge against this entire team with Lottie. His one switch in is Golden Go, and that doesn't take Specs Luster Purge that well, unless it's like the Spit F set, which nobody runs anymore because this meta is very offensively dominated. What I'm going to do is lead off with... I really want to lead Golden Go, but I think he's going to lead Rillaboom. The problem is my Rillaboom counter is Lando, and I need Lando for Gouging Fire. So we're going to lead off with Golden Go. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so it could have Sturdy, but this is just free Make It Rain, right? I mean, you have Sturdy, right? Yeah, but what do you do back? It's my co Do you have something to, like, knock me out randomly? What is that even? What What is that move? Mountain Gale? I'm assuming that's some Legends Arceus stuff. Okay, 30% chance to make the target flinch, and 85 accuracy. Okay, strong move, I guess. Custap, you know, that was kind of obvious. But also, like, it's not the biggest deal. I can go Lottie here and just Luster Purge and knock this out. If I went Lottie on the Custap Earthquake, I would have, like, looked insane, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and bring out... He's going to click Make It Rain. Let's go Sloking on the Rillaboom. I kind of have to stay in. Like, I don't want to, but I don't see what other choice I have. Let's go for Chili. Oh. Well, that's fine. I go Lottie here, and Lottie Oko's this with the Draco, I'm pretty sure. Rillaboom. It, in fact, dies. So that's what I'm clicking here. Goes hard, Golden Go. This will take a lot. Yeah, like, that really didn't take it that well, if you couldn't tell. So, I'm assuming he's Shadow Balling this time. I still go Sloking. 
Trick's me scarf. That's totally cool because now you're not scarfed, so... And that also tells me this doesn't have recovery, so Luster Purge is so good in this late game. Let's chilly here on the Shadow Ball, and let's bring out Weavile. Now, I have a feeling he's going to tear this turn to take the knockoff, so let's actually double back into Galarian Sloking and scout for that. Because if he's switching, he's switching to Zamazenta, and Sloking doesn't mind that that much anyway, so it covers like everything here. And if he doesn't Terra, like, why would you Shadow Ball, right? If you don't Terra, you're still clicking Make It Rain, but why would you stay in and not Terra? That would, like, just be a free Golden Go, and I would be in such a good spot with Latios. Like, it's not worth it for you. So just do one of the two things I think you're going to do, please. I think it's going to be Terra Fairy here and Make It Rain. Or Zamazenta, like I said. Zamazenta, that's fine, okay. These sometimes have sub. I just kind of have to chilly because I'm Choice Scarf. I live on one because of a crit. Kind of crazy. Let's go Lottie here. And I'm going to attack this time. Like, I can take a crunch. I think. I mean, how much? what does that damage mean? Is it Choice Band? No, there's no way Choice Band would have done only 50 something without a crit. Zamazenta. It's just max attack. So, like, Latios can take that. Yeah. Terra Fire is fine because it doesn't resist Luster Purge, so this will take a lot. I still want to keep a Lottie, but like I have to sack somebody now. Sloking isn't that useful, if I'm being honest. But I could also go hard Lando. The problem is that it makes the Gouging Fire too big of a threat. Is that okay though? No, it's not. <laughs> The correct play is do this, then this, and I think I actually want to get up rocks just to weaken that mon. Why did a Rillaboom come out on me? We do a good amount of damage, but I have to sack a mon here. I think Weavile is the sack. Oh, okay, so you're going to go for Grassy Glide, obviously. I can Ice Shard and then knock you out with Lando after, I guess. Or do I have to tear Ice Shard right now? Is that the correct play? If it kills, I think that is the correct play. So let's check. Rillaboom. 52 to 63. It's not enough. Is that six, literally right out of range? So I guess I do what I was going to do. Or I keep this and go hard Lando on the Grassy Glide, but that still takes a lot. And I'm going to lose to Gouging Fire. <laughs> I can already see it. But I need this for stuff like Raging Bolt, so I guess I will try to win and go Landorus here. Oh, well, okay. Sure. I mean, I'll Earth Power you and knock you out. <laughs> and then, like, what is your next play? You can go Rillaboom, I guess, and try to weaken me. I don't think I want to... Oh, well, this I just Earth Power. <laughs> the whole point of Landorus is to deal with this mon. So it goes for DD. I just Earth Power again. No, no, no. Let's hold up. Will I lose to Rillaboom if I go this route? We have Terra Normal, Terra Fighting, and Terra Ice. I think I should be okay into it. I don't know. Like I could also go Ursa Luna here and come back in. But we shouldn't lose ever. I'm going to go Ursa Luna. Okay, this is fine, because he's going to be in range of Ice Shard, and Landorus should solo the rest of the team, hopefully. So he can knock me out here. I'm assuming he has an attack to knock me out. That isn't... I'm actually going to... I mean, Facade will kill. I'm assuming he has an attack that won't take a recoil, but I just got to attack him in case he Morning Suns here is the main thing. And then Lando is at full, so I don't see how he deals with that in the long run. And Weavile still alive to take the Thunderclap and knock out Raging Bolt. Now, I could miss Triple Axel. That is always a thing. But outside of missing Triple Axel, I think we look golden here. See, so it goes for D-Claw. I just go you and I shard every time. Knock it out. Nice. He basically has to go Zamazenta. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go Landorus on this. I mean, is Lottie ever useful? If it takes Thunderclap, yeah, but I don't think it does. Latios into a Raging Bolt. No, it dies. So I think the correct play is Sack my Lottie. Yeah, so if I Sack Lottie here, then I can go Landorus and EP. And then hopefully Weavile cleans is the goal. 
I mean, I could Terra Water. I don't see the point, though. Let's just Earth Power. And then I just got a Terra Ice, and we should be fine. Hopefully, like, I can just Earth Power Raging Bolt. I mean, I'll always be able to, but I don't think Rillaboom dies to... Oh, he actually goes Raging Bolt, which is a throw. Okay. So now we should guaranteed win, because I Earth Power and then Ice Shard twice. And as we saw, Weavile into Rillaboom, I think, was a kill. With Terra Ice on. Yeah, 52. So he comes in at exactly the minimum roll, if he's no defense, so... Oh, I didn't even die. So, yeah, now we guaranteed win because he has to take a helmet turn on the Rillaboom. So, GG, I guess. Earth power that. And just earth power here. I mean, should I taunt? Just in case he tries to SD for no reason. It's kind of no point. Goes for the glide. Wait, was this boots? It was boots. Wait, do you live? There's no shot. It was boots, right? I'm not being crazy. I'm just going to go for Ice Shard and hope it kills. It didn't, but I lived Grassy Glide. Okay, we win. If you clicked Wood Hammer right there, I, I don't even know what just happened, but GG. We have another game right here. My opponent has an Iron Moth, and if that thing is able to get through my Galarian Sloking, I will lose to it. So let's try to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm going to lead off with Lottie here. Like, I kind of figured this would happen, and I should be able to just go for Draco, I think. He could go Golden Go, but it'll take a lot, and we can gauge its set. But the important thing right now is that I think this is like some sort of hazard lead, and it's just going to go for hazard, so let's punish that, right? That's the goal, at least for now. Now, okay, if he goes for rocks, what's he going to do after in front of my minus two thing here? Sash, yeah, rocks. Oh, he went for the attack. Okay, but I go you and Ice Shard. Go Zamazenta. I can go Landorus on that. I feel like he might double in the, the one thing, but he doesn't. Oh, he's hard committing to this right now. What? Okay, we'll start getting Earth Powered. I have to sack this, unfortunately, but also... Oh, well, never mind. I was don't even have to take the hit with Golden Go now because he tried to make like a super try-hard play. So double down's there. Garchomp is dead. What does he want to do here? If I'm him, I'm not going King Gambit. You want to keep King, uh, King Gambit to try to cheese me at the end. I could see Iron Moth, but I, if I'm him, I'm going Golden Go. Although he might just sack the Garchomp here to scout what I'm going. That's what I would do if I were him. No, he decides to guess, and we got it right. Okay, perfect. So let's go for the fire punch here. He's going to minus two or plus two make it rain me, huh? Is that okay? Kinda, kinda not. Kinda not, if I'm being honest. I think I got to go for this speed tie, which is really silly. Because, like, okay, he's going to shadow ball here, and I know that, but what am I doing about it? I got to win the speed tie, so that way my golden go is around for the Dragonite. So let's just win a speed tie. Maybe it's not a speed tie, but it should be. He might also sack Garchomp, then go Iron Moth here. That would be a smart decision. That's what I would do if I were him, but if he, if he risks the speed tie, I think this game comes down to the speed tie. I'm hoping at least, because the Dragonite I should be able to beat using the combination of Weavile and Golden Go. Just because Golden Go deals with like the extreme speed stuff, right? And then Weavile can deal with other sets. I do win the speed tie. Okay, that's really good. He goes Moth. I go G King here on this. Get to the boost. Everybody immediately gets the boost every time against me, so I'm not surprised at all. It's first Thunder Wave. Now, there are Dragonite sets that still beat my team, but having Ursa Luna at full health, I'm hoping, makes the difference here. Oh, I'm going to regret not having Low Cake, aren't I? If I lose to King Gambit because I don't have Low Cake, I'm changing it to Low Cake. Alright, what's the plan, though? Like, if you switch this out, you don't have Speed Booster anymore, so is it really worth it? I think, unfortunately, like, the only way I can beat King Gambit is using Ursa Luna, so I can't take damage on Ursa Luna anymore. Okay, so we get our para off. He doesn't get the second boost, which is cool, because I can live this hit now. I 
future site there. I think the correct play is to Chile. Couldn't it also might not be to Chile, I don't know. Never gets paired, but that's okay, I guess. So we know Future Sight's gonna kill, it's just I have to sack another Pokemon, so. Because Knockoff isn't killing without the booster. The problem is I kind of need everybody. You know what, I'm just gonna sack the Golden Go and go in with the other two offensive Pokemon and hope that's enough. If he's Bandit E-Speed, he's Bandit E-Speed, but I think he's Dragon Dance, so. Let's try this. So double down's there. I go Ursaluna every time. Yeah, every time, because I can't let the King Gambit SD. This time he might use the... Oh, he goes King Gambit. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to headlong. If he's Terra Flag, I can't really guess the Terra here, right? I just got to headlong. He might sack the Garchomp. He goes Hard Dragonite. I think that's okay. Oh, he has Encore. Okay, well, I gotta switch. <sighs> this is gonna be some mind games. If I facade it, I won. Should've just gone for the facade. Because it hits King Gambit so hard anyway. But then again, if he stays in, I'm pretty sure I do lose to plus two. Like Kowtow. It'll just blow me away. So I go Weavile here. Maybe he will sack the one dude, the Garchomp. But, like, who knows? At this point. Goes for Earthquake and crits me. I mean, if he has E-Speed, he has E-Speed. I'm just gonna... Attempt an Ice Shard. Sacks the Garchomp. That's, I think, game then. Because now he gets to come in with this and click the SD button. <laughs> oh, he went for Sucker. I think he threw. I'm gonna tear a normal facade this time. Oh, he has low kick and just knocks me out. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, GG. I guess he suckered because he thought I might have low kick, but I don't, obviously. Not that it would have made a difference there, but maybe I should make it low kick just because Swords Dance feels way too slow in this metagame. Like, I know this metagame is very offensive heavy and Swords Dance is a setup move, but on a Pokemon like Weavile, you kind of just want to click knockoff and coverage as much as you can. So what I'm going to do is lead off with my... He's leading Samurott, I think. Moltres is a viable lead, it does well into everybody basically, but like it would give Lottie a free attack, which is why I think he'll lead Samurott instead. Yep, we got that right. Let's go for either rocks or U-turn. I want a U-turn here and weaken this. No flame body, but I can bring in Ursaluna and we can start to do work with this mon. I can't click headlong. I mean I could. I'm going for a facade. Yeah, I'm going for facade. Okay, he flamethrowers. So we made the correct play. It doesn't die. I don't know why that doesn't die, but I'm going to go for facade again. Yeah, he's never risking the Dragapult there. So we knock that out, but Ursaluna is effectively removed from the game. That might be okay. I don't think it's the end of the world. Now, this is kind of annoying. <laughs> I think what I have to do here is U-turn and sack the Ursaluna to the spike so he doesn't get another one up, and then we should have him low enough to where it's not as big of an issue. Okay, well, this is just Lottie. And I think I Draco here. Yeah, Draco hits everything. Like, King Gambit can't take it. Samurott can't take it. Samurott's dead here if I hit. Lovely. That's probably just a game, honestly. Like... Do I think he's Scarf? Okay, he's not. Never mind. So we're good. It's the same thing. I thought he might be Scarf, and then, you know, he just gets the Ceaseless Edge off. I have to sack my sack, but we're actually in an okay spot. I was kind of overreacting there. <laughs> Let's go Ursaluna to sack. If he's Dragon Dance, I would have loved to stay in, but I can always go Sloking. I don't think this is a Dragon Dance. Goes for Draco, yeah, okay. That's kind of what I expected. So, do I think he's choice specs? What's going on here? 
So this wasn't Assault Vest, but it also... Actually, it could have been Assault Vest, and Draco Meteor is just broken. But I think what I want to do is... Go Sloking here. And let's just try to Thunder Wave. Or do I think he's going to go Dawn Fan? I'm going to click Thunder Wave here. I think he stays in. If he goes out into the Great Tusk, I'll go Lando, I think. Can I afford to do that when there's a King Gambit? I really should make this low kick. What am I doing? <laughs> I mean, we still have Terra or Sphere, but... Oh, he actually goes for T-Wave and misses his, and then I hit mine. Okay. Really good turn. Okay, he kind of gets Revenge Hacks there, which is understandable. Maybe he goes for Hex now. Okay, the double pair is annoying. Like, I would have been able to force this out, but now I kind of can't. We unfortunately, or we fortunately don't get paired there. So I can Draco here, pick up a KO or a lot of damage on Gambit, which I'll take. I think he will sack this. Yeah, he does. Okay, so now what? Gambit time, or is he going to wait? Zamazenta, okay, so let's go Golden Go. Actually, if I think he's going to crunch, I don't. I think he's going to IDEF, but also let's go Sloking. He does IDEF. This is fine, let's Sludge Bomb here and see what he is. It's just if he starts subbing and fishing for Parahax and he knocks me out behind a sub, I lose. Okay, but actually we break through and poison him immediately. That'll make the Golden Go situation a lot easier. Yeah, it's really low now. Okay, so... It's chilly. I don't really need that mod anymore. So I go you. I click Shadow Ball. He'll crunch me for a bit, and then... We should be able to deal with King Gambit, hopefully. Using Terra Lottie plus Lando. Like, do you just go for the dodge here, or do you reveal your Terra, is my question. You go for the dodge and you don't dodge. So that's just the game. Yeah, he can't win. We have a game against a Sticky Webs team. What I want to do is lead off with my Weavile and just triple axle this. And hopefully it's not Terra Steel. Or if it is, he just misses Stun Spore. That would be really funny. But if you're going for it... Okay, so if I hit three times, you're dead. Do I get that lucky? We do. He's dead. No webs. Really good turn. Goes Moth. This should be kind of trivial now, but also, like, he has a lot of still scary threats. Doesn't get the boost either. This is the luckiest I've ever gotten against a hyper offense webs player. Okay, and I say that and then miss Thunder Wave. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, triple no boost is really crazy, though. Like, I've never had stuff like that happen before. I don't really need this. It's not no good into the other four. Wait, oh, he got full paired, okay. <laughs> do we hit again? Do I even risk it? Yeah, we do. And we knock it out with two hits, okay. Really good, he wasted his Terra. This is going very well. <laughs> Let's go for knockoff and knock this out. Because it's a golden go and it's weak to dark types, fun fact. So this should be game. I mean, there's still set up Pokemon, right? I can never say it's a game while those are alive, but it's it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Goes for U-turn. What? I don't get the U-turn. Like, why is that on a webs team? Actually, it kind of makes sense. Anyway, let's go for future side here. As he goes for a rapid spin. I have two ways to deal with this. Actually, I have three. Golden Go kind of counts. I think the safest way to do it is go Lottie and Luster Purge. But it's booster attack. I really don't know how well I'm taking that. So let's go you and Earth Power it down and beat it that way. Okay, that does a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Lottie would have just died. <laughs> So I shard here. 
Knock it out, nice. He's gonna go who? Ogre Pawn. I think I see the guaranteed win. Okay, why did I click Triple Axel? I should've just knocked off, but it's probably fine. Like, I just go Lottie next. Actually, no, Lottie's the wrong play. I go Ursa Luna first. Wait, no, I I'm trying to think here. Like, Ursa Luna can take the hit from Ogre Pond, so I should actually go Golden Go and click Shadow Ball. Goats for D-Claw, that's fine. Let's go for Make It Rain now. Hopefully he Earthquakes. Okay, he goes for DD. <laughs> that was the problem. But, he knocks me out. I go Ursa Luna here. I am just going to click Facade, and then Latios should always beat a other dude. I mean, I'll terrify- actually, it's kind of not smart to Terra Fighting. Horn Leech. Like, Draco kills, I just have to hit. This was way closer than I thought it would be, looking at the first few turns, but... Like... We just gotta hit. <laughs> U-turn will never kill me, right? U-turn. Yeah, I mean, I guess he could win the speed tie and crit me too. That's another way I could lose. We just win the speed tie and hit. Okay, so we're all good. We have another game right here. My opponent has an Enamorous, so I definitely need to keep my sloking to not get late game swept by that. But I guess we also have Golden Go with Air Balloon. Mystical Fire is a thing though. This mod right here is really scary, but I'm going to lead Lando to outspeed it and go right for U-turn. And hopefully this will allow me to just get in. Wow, nothing wants to come in on this, huh? Almost at the point where I just want to click Earth Power. Okay, he goes hard Enam. I feel like he's doubling back into Samurott, but that's kind of a crazy read to make early. So let's just go for this. And then we can chilly out. Goes Great Tusk. Okay. I'm very happy about this because it allows me to get in Latios. I'm just going to go for Draco, I think. He makes the correct play in Scouts, but he actually gets lucky, so he's not as low as he would have been. That's a bit annoying, but it's fine. I'll keep Lottie here just because it's good into Raging Bolt, and like Dracoing again doesn't really do much. Wait, that did a lot. Surprisingly, let's start punishing these switches and then I'll keep this around just in case it's useful it Goes for surf again. Let's chilly out here and then go Ursa Luna and start to do some work Goes great tusk. Okay, I'm going golden go Tries to rapid spin. Yep. 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 We can go right for make it rain on Scizor, weirdly enough. That's not the play I was expecting, really. Like, I don't want to sack Lando because it's good into Raging Bolt, potentially. It can take Thunderclap. But I don't need it for that, so I'll go ahead and sack it here. Kind of don't want to lose my Balloon, so going out into this to take Bullet Punch seems like a throw. But I think it's what I gotta do right now. So I have Focus Blast, is the thing. I don't know if I live this is the problem. <laughs> okay, so he did go for it. I would have died, it looks like. So we're able to get rid of that at cost of Terra, which is not that bad of a turn. He can attack here for all I care. I'm just going to let him knock me out. No, actually, why? What's the point? If I did, I would have won right there, but it's fine. I'll just go out into Golden Go again. Go through the spin. I mean, this is like kind of bad, but also not the end of the world. I go you. We can Luster Purge now. Get the spit after drop, really nice. Just keep doing this. Doesn't get the poison, that's going to help me stay out of range of Thunderclap. Okay, it's looking pretty winnable. 
just between like Weavile and stuff like that. Wait, he goes to this now. So if I just go for Luster Purge and let him knock me out, how that should be fine, right? Oh, he's scarfed. Right? Yeah, he's scarfed. Which is such a weird thing to consider, but like let's check. Ursaluna. Scarf Raging Bolt is like the most random thing I could have ended this video with. So we can take it, because if I get rid of booster energy and make it this 47 to 56 facade blows him away so i think what i do is i go you i live the dragon pulse we click facade oh maybe he'll sack that to come back in and dragon pulse me after no he goes for the dragon pulse okay so now he has to go great tusk and i don't think rapid spin kills me so he has to actually go for an attack I'll let him knock me out. Stellar. Okay, Stellar Terra Blast. I can take that, though. Okay, I think I am. I might have actually lost, because Headlong kills me. But Ice Shard might kill him. From Terra Ice. Wait, what did I Terra? Oh, I Terra the Golden Go. I can't kill that. It's definitely Choice Scarf, too. Okay, but it, this might be defensive, so like, let's check. Weavile into Great Tusk. Did I actually lose? Oh, wait, I, I might be able to take it if he's defensive, so I guess I try that, right? Oh, we lived, okay. So I just click Triple Axel every time. No brainer. Actually, no, I click Ice Shard. What am I talking about? I click Ice Shard. Knock it out, and I don't think this can win against Galarian Sloking, especially not after I Ice Shard it. Just go for the sludge bomb here. We eat that up and we win the game. Okay, that was really scary. Thankfully, Weavile has the natural bulk to take headlong from defensive Great Tusk. And he had headlong on defensive, which was interesting too. But I did hope you all enjoyed. I do have to get ready to fly out now. So I'll see you later. Bye.